the resident pediatrician did call me yesterday and say that he could potentially come home today. Good morning. I'm trying to vlog a little bit while I'm kind of uncomfortable pumping because I think I have the wrong size flange. Um, but yeah. Cameron's working at the uh, corporate office in West Hollywood today, so I just figured I'd tag along and spend the day with, with Kieran. So Kieran is one week old today, and I, I, I'm just amazed. <laughs> I think when you've lost a child to stillbirth, having any amount of time that your baby is alive is just like amazing so the fact that he's made it a week is like <laughs> just i know that sounds awful but this yeah it's just amazing to me i washed all of his little preemie gowns that he got all dirty and this is his um going home outfit and and uh blanket and everything the resident pediatrician did call me yesterday and say that he could potentially come home today. He just has to pass his 48 hour test and he was like halfway through his 48 hour test without any preemie related events. So I'm really just, we're crossing all our fingers and toes hoping that he can come home today. But you know, obviously it's not a promise and anytime there's a preemie related event, um, it kind of restarts the 48 hour clock. So I'm just really, really hopeful that he gets to come home today. We won't know for sure until the pediatrician makes her morning rounds, which is sometime between like 10 and 11 a.m. And I'm going to be there anyway, so I'll know right away whether or not he's coming home. But our nurse, our amazing NICU nurse, told me, you know, just pack his things to go home um, just in case. And, uh, and yeah. <laughs> pumping a little bit earlier than I normally would because we do have to get on the road and it's gonna take us two hours probably with traffic. So I just wanted to make sure that I emptied everything out before we go on a two hour drive. We got his little bedside bassinet ready to go with some clothes and swaddles and some diapers. Top of stuff I still have to put away, but this is ready to go for when he comes home and we'll move it into the bedroom. I am highly considering getting a mini fridge to put in this corner here and then I want to store some of the milk that I pump in it and then maybe have a breast milk warmer to put on top of it. Also, <laughs> wouldn't mind putting my Keurig on top of it because mama has some needs too. <laughs> Cameron was like, if you get that mini fridge, you're never going to leave the nursery and I'm like, yeah, probably. Anyway, I have exactly five minutes to get all of this stuff off and then get dressed and then get on the road. So I will see you then.
So unfortunately they did have to reset his 48 hour clock to watch him for another 48 hours. <sighs> it is what it is. Um, really was hoping that he would come home tonight, but you know, hopefully in the next couple of days. So in the meantime, at least I get to spend the day with him. Good morning, again. I did sort of stop filming abruptly yesterday because there was a very scary situation going on in the NICU. Nothing wrong with Kieran, but another baby came in and there was this uh, pediatric code blue and I've never seen anything so terrifying in my life. Ugh. But yeah, that was... I decided to call it quits for filming after that. That baby's totally fine, by the way. Um, they stabilized him and everything, but it, I've just never seen such heroic efforts taken to save a life, like, ever. It was really, yeah, terrifying to see, but when all was good with that that baby, um, yeah, it was just, whew, sigh of relief for that family. So, Kieran, um, did not get to come home yesterday. I'm currently awaiting the call from the resident pediatrician to see if he can come home today. Um, I think they make their rounds at nine, but there's something like six to eight NICU bays. So it will take a little bit longer, probably around 11 a.m. I'll get a phone call and see if he's going to actually come home today. So there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with him. It's just that there's certain things that preemies at his gestational age need to overcome. And it's usually around 36 to 37 weeks that they overcome those events that happen. And um, the events are getting much fewer and further between. So I'm hoping that that uh that he hasn't had any some of the events like earlier in the week that he would have to have uh, interventions so um now it's like he has one and then he corrects it like he self corrects so that's good that's a good sign right now i'm attempting um something called a power pump session which is not going to be fun because i have a lot of sensory issues when it comes to those guys. I'm probably never going to be that person that's like, oh, breastfeeding feels so good and enjoyable because I don't know. They're just, I've always had very sensitive ladies or gentlemen, if you want to call them gentlemen, <laughs> just so sensitive. And it's not agonizing, but it's definitely a little bit like nails on a chalkboard for me to pump and to, to feed and everything. And Definitely when the lactation consultant gets her hands on there and does her squeezing, it's like, yeah. Um, but there is a relief when I finally get the milk out. I know that Kieran is eating approximately 60 to 70 ml per feeding, and I'm just not producing that amount. Like, I can't produce that volume for him every time I pump. I think I'm doing like anywhere from 18 to 36 and then sometimes I get a good session usually after I eat a large meal and it's like 70 ml. So I'm trying to figure out ways that I can increase my supply. If anybody has any tips, I did ask on Instagram too and some of y'all came through with some really good ideas. So I'm going to try some things out today. He had lost quite a bit of weight, which is normal for every baby, but he just lost a fair bit more than they would want him to, especially as a premature infant. So he has been supplemented with something called Neosure, and they've told me to just get that um, to supplement his feeds with if I'm not making enough for him. But as it stands right now, he can just chug. He just takes so much, and I don't feel confident that I'm going to be able to, to provide that for him just on my own. So any tips, tricks to increase uh, milk supply, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I don't want to have to give him too much formula. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but I do notice that he he prefers breast milk. Um, he seems a lot happier with it. He eats it faster. 
I think he chugged down 70 ml of breast milk in 10 minutes. And then with the formula feed, because they wanted him on two formula feeds per shift, it took him about 30 minutes for the first one. He was sort of collapsing the nipple, just biting on it, like playing around. So I think that's indicative of him not, not preferring the formula. So I did have a few people say, bring something home from the hospital that that smells like Curin so that cats can smell it. And I did reach over here. I did wash most of his things, but this was from yesterday. This is um, what he was wearing and wrapped up in for the most part for a day. And let me see if it smells like him. Oh yeah, it definitely smells like him. So um, I'll, I'll see what the cats think later. <laughs> I, I feel like they're going to have a, a good response to him. I hope they do. I mean, they had such a good response to me coming home. So a uh, new person that, you know, smells like mom and dad, I'm hoping that they'll, they'll take a liking to him, but I'm, I'm curious to see what they think of the baby smell on, on these items right here. Okay. Almost at the end of my 20 minutes, then I rest for 10 minutes and then pump again for another 10 minutes and then rest for 10 minutes and then pump again for another 10 minutes. <sighs> All right, let's see what we got for that 20 minute period. I think that's 55, 55 ml, not bad. Okay. I'm hoping that I can just keep these in the fridge and not, not have to take them to him tonight and he can just have them when he gets home because I need, I, I've been taking everything to him and he's just been eating it, like eating it all up, so. I wanted to have a stockpile, but I've just been taking everything to him. And now I have 74 plus 55 plus, I think there's about 12. Yeah, so I have only 141 milliliters for him so far. I mean, it is the morning, so. But yeah, I bought the Haka for in the car for emergencies because I'm feeling quite tethered to the house at the moment. Like, we just can't run errands and um yeah this thing is awful <laughs> any tips on this thing because ooh, i feel like it's just trying to rip the boob off of me all right let's go see what the cats think of this it's wrong that other one's actually 30 ml so i have a little bit more than i thought i did hi damien look i want you to smell something look look at this no, don't grab me. Smell this. Smell, smell him. <laughs> he just wanna be pet. Hey, look, I want you to smell this. No, you don't, you don't care. You just, okay. You've had a kiss? What do you think? Damien, I need you to like chill for a second. What do you think? Damien. Squawk, what do you think? Damien, I'm like two seconds from locking you off. <laughs> Jesus. Squawk. Anyone else? Anyone? Anyone? No, nobody cares. Okay. Freckles, you want to smell? Damien. I just smell it. What do you think? Okay. I'll just, I'll leave it here. How about that? I leave this here and you guys can smell at your discretion. How about that? There we go. Yeah. Good job. Damien, can you can you go smell the baby? Can you, can you smell please? Well, at least one of you. Of course, it's the foster, our foster, who won't be staying with us permanently, is the one who's interested. Ah, Damien. What'd you guys think? What'd you guys think? Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here. Alright, time is up. I'm gonna grab a little snack and then go back to pumping. 
Okay, that's not a lot, but you know, it's a start. I might actually downsize to a 24 millimeter flange because I feel like the 27s are too big now. Just finished the power pump session and I am a believer now because I just got 30 milliliters in that one. Although it does seem to give me a headache when I do do too much pumping. I need, need to hydrate, obviously. Anyway, I'm gonna do some chores around the house, get everything ready, um, and I will see you again once I finally get a call from the resident pediatrician. I'm back before I said it would be. But only because I'm like anxiously waiting for this phone call. <sighs> All right, it's been a couple hours and I just did 60 milliliters after that power pump session. So I am a believer. And unfortunately, no, they have not called me yet. Getting pretty anxious. I just got the call and our son is coming home today. I'm gonna go pull myself together and, and go get my son.